Welcome to my new video. In this one, I will be demonstrating how to solve Wi Fi dongle driver issues on Word Linux. The commands I will demonstrate can be used for all Linux in general because they are generic commands, but specifically here I am talking about Word Linux. So basically, the story is that I have this uh, Wi Fi dongle, it's 5G, and for some reason, kernel supplied drivers are um, unable to make it work. It is detected correctly, but I cannot connect to my Wi-Fi, for example, here. Uh, what I'm doing for the time being to uh, to connect to internet is I'm using USB tethering via my mobile, so I can at least have a temporary internet connection. Now, let's go into uh, solving the problem. So, first of all, uh, what we'll do, we'll run LSUSB, which is uh, to see the device, uh, device ID and bus ID. In my case, I have uh, this uh, thing line here. And the device I'm looking for is this one. If you copy this code, and then now we'll go to Google to find the relevant driver here. So basically what I'm looking for uh, is the exact name of the driver. So that's the one, right? Okay, so when we look at RTL chips, they sometimes have CU or A or E. In those cases, if you end up compiling the wrong driver, it will not work. So for that reason, we need to find the exact driver. And it seems that uh, this guy here is talking about the specific uh, dongle that I have. So what I need to do, uh, because this is very specific to uh, Ubuntu, I will just go to the answer and copy the GitHub uh, link. So let's copy it, paste it there. Now from here, it's very easy. I mean, I just want to show from zero that how typically a Linux user works. You don't have to be a geek or a programmer to get things rolling. All right, so first of all, this guy is having some basics. He is, uh, this is important that this guy is confirming that this driver applies to these two models of the adapter and is confirmed to work from Linux kernels of 4.4 up to 4, oh sorry, 5.x. So that is important um, because what will happen is that once we compile the code, uh, the, the code, it will be, of the driver, it will be specific to the Linux kernel. In my case, for example, I am on the latest kernel supplied by Word Linux, which is 5.15. And as we can see uh, in his uh, specification, that it does confirm to five point releases. Now, in some cases, if future, for example, if in future this compilation or uh, basically, okay, so after the compilation, whenever the kernel is updated, the driver will be recompiled. So if in future, if that recompilation stops working, for example, the source code is no longer supportive of the kernel. So in that case, what you can do, you can fall back to the uh, the LTS kernel, which is long-term support kernel. I think it was it is uh, uh, 4.19 or something. But anyhow, that's our out of the scope of this video. Uh, let's get uh, back to our uh, browser here. So this guy is giving uh, very much detailed step-by-step -step answers. So in general, what we need to do is simply uh, copy and paste the commands he has mentioned. So that's the first one. So basically, we uh, just uh, made ourselves a directory. Let me show it. It's there, build. Then the second step is the change directory. So we are there now, it is empty. And then we need to clone the uh, github uh, what do you call source code or the repository basically now in the meantime let's read further ahead so this guy has some general instructions i don't think they apply to me um, and then this guy is mentioning how to build using dkms which is dynamic kernel modules um, so it seems that all we need to do is to run the script and we need to install something called DKMS. In my case, it's already installed. 
let me show it in the terminal it is installed here but in case in, on your system if it is not installed you can easily search for it and then you can install this one bkms at the at this time it is 2.8 version all right so now we will just uh, since the repository has been synced let's uh, go into it and from here all i need to do is to run the install script so let's run the command i think it will require a sudo but it's still you know let's try to run it without sudo oh yes all right so uh, from now it will just compile itself uh, we need to wait for a while and let the pc do its thing and to pass our time or kill our time let's read if there's something worthwhile so if i need to remove there's a script and all of this would not uh, apply because i am sure when i um, insert my dongle it will work out of the box in case it does not then i have to follow these steps this is arch specific which we know is uh, system d based distribution word linux is not so if we ever have to go back to these instructions we will just install using package manager uh, this package and then we can use our own native commands on run it to uh, enable and start this bluetooth service and it should work so anyhow i hope i don't have to follow these instructions and the rest of the instruction on this page is about installing the driver without dkms uh, i prefer for some reason uh, via dkms so i will ignore the rest of the page now let's go back to the terminal it is still compiling i'll pause the video and let's connect once it is compiled all right guys as we can see it has a start uh, i mean it has finished the compiling and the installation has been finished and let me switch back to my full screen now there you can see my dongle is working because it is connecting it is um, uh, detecting all the wi-fi networks including 5g and 4g so i hope this video helps you guys in um, handling your driver issues on, on word linux or any linux for that matter the process is very simple we just run ls usb or ls pci whatever the device is then we look up the bus id uh, device id and then this uh, vendor specific code just throw it in the google because there are many people out there like you and the solution is very simple i hope this video helps have a nice day thanks for watching